live A-C-U. from the ACU of Texas Studios. This is the Clear Lake Today Podcast Network. Two complainers. I got Reed and Tim. Arguably the most handsome of the complainers. It's not arguably. It's pretty much straight facts. Just yes, straight facts. Spitting mad truth here on the Caped Complainers today. <laughs> All right. I'm not well, afraid to break barriers. I know. For more controversial opinions. <laughs> um, but anyways, today we're talking the video games that we think deserve a remake. Uh, we got a uh, a new uh, remake came came out recently that also got pulled like the same day from Steam. The GTA Definitive Edition came out, which mm-hmm. is the shitty remaster, in my opinion, of Grand Theft Auto Three, Vice City, and San Andreas. Uh, it so, just has all of them sandwiched into the same. Yeah, and it's not re- it's. It's. I wouldn't call it a remake. It's just kind of a graphics overhaul, in my opinion. And then they they added camera control. And they uh, also added swimming, right? No, actually, they didn't. Oh, uh, I thought I was they did. They, yeah, because uh, I saw a video of them of somebody swimming, but no, you can't swim in it. But it apparently got pulled from Steam like the same day because whoever whoever didn't download it like instantly the servers crashed or whatever and no one was able to download or play anything else but then they moved it that many it. people were that excited about gta i guess i mean i i was excited just because i thought you could i i was hoping like it would look like gta 5 mm. uh and but it didn't i mean because they kind of already have san andreas built in five because it takes place in san andreas in both games and so it's like they have grove street but i don't know beggars can't be choosers i guess but anyways in in honor of that and also a bunch of other remakes i just thought we would talk about a couple of games that we think deserve the remake treatment so we're just going to go through them i guess let's do the people who aren't here first let's start with the guy flippo Flippo. Okay. Hi, Flippo. Hi, I'm Flippo. Hi, Flippo. Yeah, hi. Oh, I didn't have a I didn't have a hat in here and wear it backwards. <laughs> I know. For, <laughs> uh, imagine, close your eyes and imagine I have a hat. Um, so Flippo, uh, uh. <laughs> hideous. Take uh, it off. I know. <laughs> Flippo's uh, Flippo's are Chrono Trigger for the uh, I imagine the SNES or the uh, NES. Uh, Oblivion, uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I agree with that. The yeah, I tried playing that after I played Skyrim. Mm. It was hard. It's it was a, just it's hard. so empty. Like I <laughs> I did the same thing too. Like I remember it like being just massive and beautiful open world. But whenever you play it again after Skyrim, especially, like there's nothing in it. It's just an yes. empty so, yeah ghost world. He also says Prince of Persia Sands of Time, which actually is getting a remake. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if it's a uh, overhaul remake like they did with Final Fantasy VII, where they just do everything, or it's just going to be graphics. I don't know, but they are doing so, it. So what, but th- what is Prince of Persia like originally from? <laughs> Prince of Persia, I all I remember of Prince of Persia is it, it came out on PlayStation 2, it, okay. It was a kind of it takes place in I guess Arabian area. I don't yeah. know what that region is, um, but it's Middle a dagger. East. Yeah, it's like a dagger that he finds that you can control yeah. time with. That's yeah. all I know about Prince of. Or you, yeah, you can only go so far back. Yeah, yeah. I like I know the game. I just want to. I'm just. I just don't know the origins of mm. Prince of Persia because it is kind of big as an indie game and stuff like yeah, that. I think I was just wondering how it started and got that big. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, if, I mean, if somebody wants, if you want to Google that, we can more than likely talk about it. So, um, fun fact about Prince of Persia: Sands of Time. Remember when it first came out? They had all of these super 
expensive, awesome, like live action commercials for the game. Yeah. And it seemed really awesome. I really wanted to get the game. And then eventually, like two years later, I got the game and I remember thinking, this game sucks. <laughs> I, Why did I ever want it? <laughs> I thought it was just hard. I, I like I think somebody bought it for me whenever I had the PS2, but it was I just remember it being really hard. I wasn't able to do like the wall the wall run or whatever. And yeah. I just I, I remember just not being able to beat the first level. Flippo also said his number four is uh, Sly Cooper, the PlayStation title. Oh, yeah. I don't think I ever played any of those games, but I know I who I thought he they is. did make an, a remake of that, didn't they? Or they made a second one recently? They like might have They might have done a remaster. They did a Ratchet and Clank recently. I think that's what you're thinking of. Oh, yeah. There's a new one yeah. out on PlayStation 5. Yeah. And Flippo's last one... I think they actually did do a remake of this. It's The Oregon Trail. God. Uh, I actually do think there is a remake of this. Uh, it's uh, available. Well, it's like the same game, but just hi- like quote unquote higher res graphics, but it's still like like a computer game. But yeah, those are Flippos. Do we have Devons? I didn't see one for Devon. Right. Yeah, but he did mention one last week. What was it that he said? Uh, a game that he really enjoyed. I don't know. What? You edited it. What uh? What did what did he say? <laughs> All right. Okay. Calm down. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I guess Devin's gonna take a mulligan on this one. So, if I remember it, I'll let you know. Okay. All right. So in that case, who would like to go first? Because I I'm ready to go. Go, Greg. Go. Right. Uh, yeah. Don't piss your pants. Well, Wait, I'm, I'm not gonna pee. Oh, so okay. This time, um, my number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's a coin flip with this guy <laughs> yeah i like to mix it up every episode um this hair trigger of a pee hole <laughs> all right so my number one is this is my favorite game of all time final fantasy 9 what tim i, li- I okay. can't even get I'm through sorry. my first i'm one. sorry i just remembered it he said banjo kazooie okay uh, that, yeah. that kind of kazooie that... but with fighting he said <laughs> Oh, with better fighting. That kind of did get a remake. What's that name? Yeah. It's it um it's a kind of a different game. It has a chameleon and a bat. U- uh, ukulele. Ukulele is kind of a remake of Banjo Kazooie. It's the same game. It's the same mechanics. I've never even heard of it. You look I'm it pretty up. sure Greg just pissed his pants and he's like, no. I gotta say something right <laughs> no, now. No, look it up. <laughs> say something before they do this. <laughs> no, I have to I have to interject to anything. Um no, yeah, but it's sorry. it's the same game. Uh ukulele is what it's called. Um sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just remembered it, and I had to get it off my chest. That was fine. You just couldn't even let me get through the I first one. I couldn't even let you get through one. Okay. I mean, it's contractually, and Tim has to do it. Yeah. yeah. Until <laughs> I get paid. Upset Greg once a week. All right. So my number one is Final Fantasy IX. Uh, I even have a, the the Wikipedia pulled up for it, if you must know. It's a it, it's a 2000 role playing game developed by Square uh, Square Enix for the original PlayStation. It focuses on a war between nations in a medieval fantasy world. It's 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Incredible characters, lovable heroine called Garnet. You can call her whatever. I usually called her Nice Booty because I was young and immature. Uh, but it Greg, just didn't you play that like last year? I did, uh, but no, I mean, I I play, no, I played it whenever I was a kid too. But yes, it does have a PS4 port. I'd call it a remaster than a remake, but I want a Final Fantasy VII quality remake done yeah, with that'd this be nice. game. It, it would be ten out of ten. Yes, Reed. Did you call her nice booty? last year when you played it uh, yes you did I, I might have <laughs> but i mean the point is it's a wonderful thing that made me go back to my young self going i'm gonna call her nice booty again so it it was, it was just nostalgic and i liked it a lot it's canon now her name is nice booty yeah <laughs> for real it's been said three times it's canon yeah. Beetlejuice rules uh but yeah that's my number one uh number so one. 
Yeah. Uh, you said you'd give it 10 out of 10. Are you sure you wouldn't give it 9 hey. out of 10? I'm yeah. just going to leave now. Whoever yeah, edits, I'm sending somebody to tuck you into bed. You're yeah. <laughs> Whoever edits this, that quiet part, just put in crickets. <laughs> Add some, <laughs> and make it longer. You send me a cricket yeah. audio file. I'll right. put that in I'll there. I'll send that to you. <laughs> Uh, even I have to do all the work. Um, let's see. I'm not. What? I'm, I'm asking kidding. you to find one audio file. Uh, all right, number two. This is also an original PlayStation game, Legend of Dragoon. Uh, it's another yeah, role-playing no game uh, developed by Japan Studio <laughs> and Sony Computer Entertainment in 1999. I loved this game. It was also a turn-based game, uh, but. It followed, like, these people who were, like, I don't remember if they were, like, able to, like, in pos be possessed or in have the powers of dragons, but they were able to have that ability and use it, and I loved the characters, really awesome. It got compared to Final Fantasy, and that's kind of what made it get, for some reason hated by critics it was like it's just a final fantasy ripoff i'm just like yeah it plays the same way but it's it's still really good on its own uh, yeah i mean like everything don't they kind of do the same thing all this like you know like all plays are yeah, based all... off shakespeare crap like you can't yeah and at the time all those games were turn-based so it's yeah. like what can you do for combat like you just have to deal with it and also, you know, they were following, you know, the same the same path that everyone else was taking, so they could be part of it and try and be one of the popular ones, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, my number three. Uh, <clears throat> this was I played it on the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, is Shinmu? It's an action adventure game uh, created by Yazuki. Oh, I guess it's yeah, Yuzuki. <laughs> In 1999, uh, it does have a PlayStation 4 port, uh, and that's how I was able to replay it a couple, I guess a year ago. Um, but it uh, follows this, um, it takes place in Asia, I don't know exactly where, but you follow this kid, his dad dies, uh, or is murdered by uh, this martial arts guy at the beginning of the game, and you're just trying to solve this mystery of who is he. And I just found it to be incredibly cool because, well, specifically, one thing I liked about it is they have these little, uh, what are they called whenever you put quarters in the little machine and they give you a little prize? A like, gotcha system? Gachuban? Are they what they're called? I don't remember. It's a gotcha uh, system. Yeah, a gotcha system. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and in the game, they had that. And I spent all my money just trying to get little Sonic figures. And I just. Within loved... a game? Yeah, it was like a game within a game. And I <laughs> loved this game. And That's I would love a, a full graphics rehaul, even uh, kind of remake. But I think this one is really good. There are three games in this. Uh, I've played the first two, but I, I, I hear the third one's bad. Uh, my fourth one is uh, Sonic Adventures. I played this on the Sega Dreamcast as well. It was really good. Obviously, it's a Sonic game, but it was different. It was kind of like adventure Whoa. role-playing kind of thing. You could play yeah. as different characters. You got a, you got a Knuckles. You could play as, yeah, they all had different storylines. It was awesome. And I think it needs a remake. I think I yeah I think I played that one too, uh, yeah. where you could play as Rogue the Bat as well, and she was yeah that, uh, that's the some... that's the sequel. Oh uh, yeah, uh, but this one uh, it's got like the it's got Big the Cat um, yeah uh, some robot I think his name is Gamma, but it was just really neat. I loved it. Think it needs a remake, but yeah. Um, last one for me, and then I'll y'all finally will hear me not talk anymore. Uh, is Harvest Moon sixty four? I love this. Made me fall in love with garden simulators. Just you, just it's a chore game, and I loved it. It was on the Nintendo sixty four whenever I originally played it. Uh, developed by Victor Interactive Software, and obviously Nintendums which is Nintendo, but it's my fun way of saying it. Um, and it was just phenomenal. Loved it. Great 
time. I could, I could raise animals, sell crops, and it was just fun. And I, I'd love a remake of it because I think Harvest Moon has really gone downhill in the recent years, like graphics and gameplay. Like I, I can't even think of the last good Harvest Moon game. But yeah. Wait, what are you? Is there anything different in the sequels? It sounds like it would just be a repetitive game, like Animal it, Crossing. It kind of is, but it would add like it was the stories that would change. Like for one of them, ah. like this one, Harvest Moon sixty four, you inherit your farm from your grandpa and all that stuff. And well, that kind of you inherit the farm no matter what. But in another one, you have to save the whole town because it's going to get demolished so you have to find a reason for this town not to get demolished so you have to like find like an endangered animal or uh or maybe like a like a rare crop but yeah they all have like different stories who but, has the power to just come demolish this town <laughs> uh big business that's usually <laughs> the bad oh, the, the, the one that you just did in your pants yeah probably. i I watched this, or I played the same one, Harvest Moon sixty four, and they were going to repossess your farm or something that your yeah. family left you. So yeah, it was big business. Yeah, and like, <laughs> like the plot everything. is, you gotta like raise money or like get this farm back up to its like former yeah. glory in order to save it. Uh, but yeah, that is my five games that I think deserve a remake. Yeah. So Legend of Dragoons, didn't they talk about a remake already? Like they're they're working on one, Ooh, right? If they did, I haven't heard of it. If they do, that's awesome. I know they teased it, but I, I've been looking ever since you said Legend of Dragoon, and I don't know if they ever officially announced a Legend of Dragoon remake. Uh, but, it, oh, actually, this there's nothing article on. says director confirms that a Legend of Dragoon remake is in the works, and it was written April 1st, 2021. Uh, April 1st. Yeah. yeah. Oh no! No. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't trust that. Uh, that That's article. Funny. Yeah. That gotcha, bitch. That is funny. I know. Uh, got you. <laughs> all right. Well, that is my top five. Who would like to go next? I also played Harvest Moon sixty four, and I played like eighty to a hundred hours. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I know he froze. Well, while we wait, read. I feel like he's doing it on purpose. I, don't know. I know. He falls um, asleep. Yes, my games. So on um, family trips, I had Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and I would play this game called Advanced Wars. And, yeah, it was a fun one for me. Turn-based strategy game. I think it was kind of like Battleship, but you would use uh, – you would have, uh, like, infantrymen, and then you, you would have these tanks – uh, and you wouldn't, you couldn't see your, you couldn't see your enemies. So you would, you'd have to strategically make your way and try and find them and then try and get like the first shot in. So you could be more successful in, uh, taking that base and, uh, winning that round and stuff like that. This was a Game Boy uh, Advance game. Yeah. But you know, when they had like the little half cartridges. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I had that on Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. Oh man, the I, only, I liked it. And uh, the only yeah, Game we, Boy we, game I ever like hardcore played was um, I think it was a Game Boy Advance. Um, it was a Mario and Luigi and the Bean Su- Kingdom, Superstar Saga. Yeah, super. Like that. Yeah, yeah, Superstar Saga. My, yeah, my brother, he was big into that one. Yeah, uh, he, yeah, he liked that one. That was the um, that was like the only Game Boy Advance game that I hardcore played. I'm, I'm sure as honorable mention i'm sure my my brother would like that as uh to have a re- uh, remake yeah um my other one what was it uh star fox assault uh was on gamecube so it had the story it had the story in uh in the game but also you could play multiplayer but not online so we all you all, all had to be there on the same console and so i would have my friends uh play there and you could uh you could get in uh our wings or 
the tanks as well, but you could get in those and shoot each other down, or you could get you could get out of the vehicles too and just shoot at each other and go pick up different guns. I remember you could get like a Gatling gun and just mow people down, <laughs> just take them out. So you played uh, the violent games, <laughs> like well, no, this was this was hardly like bloody, gory, violent one, yeah. and neither was neither was Advanced Wars. Like it wasn't, it was very mild yeah mild in, that, in that case yeah. but just playing those uh with the memories you know it was just fun to play uh and i was i'm a, i've always been a fan of uh star fox games it's been a while though um what do you uh did you by chance play the what is it it's a, it's considered not really a star fox game i'm trying to look it up but it might have Star Fox Adventures, that's what it's called. Have you ever played that one for the GameCube? Is that is that the one where you help the like this solar system of dinosaurs? Yes. It's got like yeah. dinosaurs and like a blue fox girl. But yeah, yeah, Crystal. Yeah. Do you, yeah, you Crystal know the name? Crystal was in the Star Fox Assault game. Oh god. As, as well as part of the team. So yeah, that one came out after the adventures. Yeah. I just no, yeah, I remember bad. playing that. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, it was just, I think because I was younger, it was hard to know where I needed to go. Yeah. And so, you know, the small mind of my own. That was a big problem for me growing up too. Like I didn't really like video games until like way later because I didn't know what the hell to do. I know. And then it clicks and you're like, Oh, now I really like these things. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like for real, like I remember getting like kingdom hearts when it first came out, I had no idea what to do. (laughs) Oh, I just got to slash these things. Yeah. (laughs) Like, I'm just like, Oh, okay. What's happening. But like, finally, like now I can appreciate games and be like, I can figure it out. But I I now have the patience to sit through cutscenes and understand what's going on. I'm less dumb now. So yeah. Still dumb, um, but less so. Yeah, uh, it's been a while. I don't even think I've ever beaten it. But um, Pikmin, did you, either of y'all play that yeah. one? Yeah, no. Pikmin, and it it felt so long though. That I guess. was that was another one. I was too young and too dumb to know what to do. Pikmin especially yeah. is hard because you got you got to like figure out. You're only allowed a hundred Pikmin. But like you need to like figure out. I need like twenty five. Yeah, I need twenty five yeah. of the red guys. I need I need like ten of the purples. So it's like you got to figure out what to do. But I was too young and dumb to appreciate it as a kid. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember if I ever beaten it, but I, I I did like that one. I don't even remember how far I got because it just felt so long. Because oh man, I didn't beat this day. I need to go back and beat it. Yeah try again like another five times yeah and like there's a time system majora's mask was like a big thing any games early on that have to deal with time i cannot deal with i know right yeah let me do it on my own i Uh, so mr ceo says pikmin is actually getting a new game did you hear that um i know they uh, there's there's three pikmins and then i know there's a mobile game now kind of like uh pokemon go for for pikmin but that's all i know about it. oh that's pikmin cool. 4 on september 3rd 2021 uh, there are wait so it's already out or oh no no it? there there's articles in september for pikmin 4 oh. um there's an article here october 26th for pikmin 4 so are you do you think you're gonna get the new pikmin read man i don't know i i literally haven't had time to uh turn on a game console and play a game and i don't know how long yeah i mean i know i've said it to y'all plenty of times just work's been the company's going through stuff to make changes and updates and automate things and so well next week we'll review a game so you better take a couple of days off i'm just kidding (laughs) so what i'm hearing is you don't think you can beat it loud and clear again that's an admission i I didn't even beat it the first time so (laughs) i might keep the streak alive uh well uh, i think uh i don't know what's your what do you got next what's your next um let's see uh Batman Arkham Asylum, the first one. 
Mm. It's been a while, and they, so they did a they did a remaster recently. Uh, but I think the remaster looks worse than <laughs> than the original one. You're talking about the Arkham Asylum games. Yeah, isn't that the first one? Right. Yeah, the first one. It's been a while. Yeah, they did. It came they, out on PlayStation Two, and I played it in my dorm room at yeah college. They did do a a. a um, I think they call it the Arkham Collection or something, but it looks way worse. Like I remember, like the original one looking like very cinematic and awesome, but this yeah. one they all look really yeah. pasty and like wet, and it, yeah. it's weird. <laughs> but I don't know. But yeah, they this did. This asylum do a... is wet. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's, it's sticky and wet in this asylum. Yeah, I can't. I think it was the second one. Uh, I was fighting some guys before I fought. Um, poison ivy, mm-hmm. and I think I got like a 200 hit combo on just a bunch of dudes. I'm just going around just one punch, one punch. Like I was just racking it up. I was just doing that for fun too. I loved the uh, combat system in those yeah, games. I got it so high, it was crazy. Yeah, it was um, addicting. It was fun. It was a good game. Uh, what about? I think you got one more. What's your last one? I don't know. Uh, I think that's all I could think of. A random honorable mention for me would be uh, Mega Man Legends for the Nintendo 64. I don't know. No, Never uh, played it. It might have been the 64. I don't he know. sucks in Super Smash, so that's my only impression of it. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. Well, Tim, it's all up to you, baby. All right. All up to me. It's going to yeah, crash and burn. Yeah, I don't cut out again. You know? I know. We I haven't, know. We haven't it, been I had to close out of Skype and reopen it. It's so embarrassing. Oh, man. oh what about Twitch? Five. Is Twitch still up? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just I double-checked. Nice. And uh, Mr. CEO has been commenting. So another honorable mention, Mr. CEO says the Max Payne series. Have you guys played the Max Payne oh, series? Oh, I played it. I played it on my computer that yeah. my brother's downloaded on. <laughs> I, I somebody actually mentioned that on uh, Instagram. They said uh, it deserves a remastered or a remake just because of its uncontrollable, uh, like like its control system is just really bad. <laughs> they would love they would love it if it looked like uh, if it was like GTA or something. That'd be awesome. But yeah, that 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 is a good one. Yeah, yeah. I've never you, played you it. You have but... to take drugs to get more health because it doesn't. It all have in like canonically yeah, I, like I think, in one night yeah i think like it's kind of like an adrenaline thing that you gotta like yeah keep doing drugs to like get woo, really high yeah. to like slow time or something but yeah and i always i always remember the one where there's like we, it's like flashing like white or red or something like that and you're like just in some weird mental state and it's just a baby crying in the background <laughs> that just sounds like your life but, no, my kids been my kids been good for That's a good Devin's while. Life. I always remember, I always remember that uh, part of the game. Yeah, just because it was annoying. Just shut up. Where are you? <laughs> shut your mouth. All right, uh, <laughs> Tim. Stop. Tim, paint us a picture with your words. All right. So the first game that I'd like to see a remake of is Final Fantasy Tactics. It's a game that came out in like 1998 and it's like Final Fantasy, but it's turn based. And if you lose, it's like Fire Emblem or uh, any of those like turn based games. If you lose a character in a level, then they're like dead. So you if you lose a character, you turn it off and you turn it back on. And I had it for the Game Boy Advance and I remember having like one specific level. I had this Moogle Black Mage. And I really didn't want him to die because he was super powerful. And so every time he went down, I would just turn it off, turn it back on, and just redo the level. Off oh, top. he was your glass cannon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> off, off topic, but kind of on. You call them Moogles? Yeah. What do you call them? I call them Moggles. It's M O O G L E S, not yeah. M O G G L E S. Well, I still just, I mean, I've always just. Because you just read it, <laughs> and I just call them Moggle. I call them binoculars. What? <laughs> they're de- they're Craig for me. Uh, no. <laughs> Quick, give me my pair of Craigs. Wait, uh, there's no. two guys. I mean, I, that's just what I was. I mean, because they're yeah. usually text based games, so yeah, you don't know how it's said. You just that's right. true. It's that's however true. you I've read it. Said Moogle though, so I might be wrong. I don't know. 
Um, yeah, Square Enix, uh, get on the podcast and tell us what it is. Correct. Exactly. And if you think Moogle is wrong, I will freaking fight you. Nice save. Be sure to edit that. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> okay, so, so you're saying Final Fantasy is not Fire Emblem? or It's not Fire Emblem. Okay. But this Final Fantasy things. Tactics game was similar to Fire Emblem, which brings me to my second game. Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones. Yeah. I remember spending, I said, like 80 to 100 hours on Harvest Moon. I would say like 200 to 10 million hours on Fire Emblem, <laughs> The Sacred Stones. <laughs> 200 to 10 <laughs> million. I remember it was on Game Somewhere Boy or between. Game Boy Advanced. I think I played it on the SP actually. And you got to start out as one of two characters, like the princess or the prince, and you played through the thing. But I I remember playing through it all and then starting a new game and I talked to a random bad guy character with one of my characters and they swapped sides. So then I had to go back to the to the so I started off on Princess's side, Princess Arena, I think. And so I had to make a new game on her side again and talk to every bad guy with every good guy so that I could see if I could convert them to my team. <laughs> that way I could collect them all. Yeah, you gotta have them all. Yeah. And uh yeah, I got super addicted. Yeah, I mean so those... did you play did you play this Harvest Moon and Fire Emblem on the same Game Boy Advance, because if you're playing 10 million hours, I'm surprised <laughs> that you didn't burn this thing out. No, no, the Harvest Moon was on 64. Wow, gotcha. Yeah, and then like a year or two later, because the SP burned out, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, I got it on an emulator on my laptop, and oh, I played cool. it a lot again. It was just so good. I know. I've been wanting to put an emulator on my laptop just because, like, there's so many games. Like, ex <laughs> like, this week, I've been doing research of, like, games and stuff. I'm just like, man, there are so many I want to play again. Right. So, but, yeah. Uh, uh, what else? Third game is Perfect Dark 64. Yeah. Uh, and that will actually tie into Mr. CEO's next one that he said. He said 007 GoldenEye. Yeah, and Perfect that... Dark sixty four and Goldeneye. If you had both of the save files on your N sixty four memory or whatever, you could. There were like some cross generation, cross platform levels. Like it, so, if you had Goldeneye saved, then you got specific items and levels unlocked in Perfect Dark. Yeah, and it was a, it was just the That's crossover neat. event of. <laughs> that no that one knew about. Thousands, man. I did not know that. That's yeah. yeah, it's insane. And vice versa. If you had Perfect Dark 64 saved on your N64 and you played doubles, 007 GoldenEye, then it unlocked certain levels and stuff for 007. Um, and, I know, uh, I know uh, on Far Cry 5, uh, someone on PC, because on Far Cry 5, you can make your own levels. Someone on Far Cry 5 rebuilt the snow level in GoldenEye. <laughs> and it looked uh, like ver like verbatim the same thing but it was like far cry 5 assets but it was really interesting and neat but yeah that would be a really cool uh remake and i'm surprised it hasn't happened yet yeah right yeah the 007 for sure that was like that, the, that was like the og yeah. multiplayer shooter so yeah Go yeah. big head mode and shotgun <laughs> you never miss <laughs> i'd always get uh i would always choose odd job yeah As um, <laughs> is he the one who throws the hat yeah yeah the hat. <laughs> apparently he was actually a real murderer in real life oh, oh. shit yeah <laughs> fun fact i don't know but he might have been a murderer <laughs> but he did do something wrong but yeah uh, uh what else um yeah, I really liked uh, the multiplayer on Perfect Dark, and I remember having specific camping sections in each map. And... Yeah, you do look like a camper. Yeah, I was a camper. I was a badass camper. <laughs> you little piss boy. <laughs> There's this little laptop gun that you can toss on the wall. I'd have, like, a bunch of them set up, and then you could have a little sniper to shoot through the walls. Ah, so okay. Yeah, anyway. yeah, you could just throw, like, yeah, this iPad-looking thing, and it would just... Come out just an arm with a gun on it or something. Yep. <laughs> exactly. And then you just shoot through the walls with your sniper. But uh, the next one is a uh, 
It's an MMORPG that came out in like 2000. Let me see. It was released in 2004. It's called Fliff or Fly for Fun. Never heard of it. And I used to play the crap out of that on my school issued laptop back in high school. I used to go up to this little building by our house and I would sit outside of it playing off of their Wi-Fi this MMORPG game. Yeah, you are a little camper. camper yeah, I am. I camped Wi-Fi. there. <laughs> Even during the winter, I would go out there and I'd bring my blanket and I'd be hiding under my blanket attached to this business's Wi-Fi playing this MMO. It was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> what, what was the game about? Uh, so... It's an MMO, so you played with a bunch of other people, and there were a bunch of different, there were four different classes that could also, once you get a high enough level, you could get another subclass of that class. And honestly, I don't remember what those classes were. There was a a healer, a sword fighter, uh, an archer, and a, a mage, and then they also had their own branches. But yeah, kind I used like, to play a lot. Kind of like Destiny, like if you if you got so far in one of those, there would be another branch between like uh Yeah, basically. So like I remember one character, I think it's called the mercenary. You could after at level fifteen, you could choose mercenary, uh whatever the healer class's name is, sorcerer or wizard, and then ranger. And then at level eighty they branched off even more. So the ranger got acrobat and something else. The wizard got sorcerer and something else. Hmm. Uh, the mercenary got blade and knight, I think. Anyway, yeah, that one. And then my last one would be Lord of the Rings, the third age. Oh, that was so good. I thought you were going to I... say the two towers game. Like, those like games were games. so bad. No, those were amazing. <laughs> oh, you could pl- oh. I, I used to play those games a lot. The Two Towers and Return of the King. Yeah. Um, and I really liked playing Legolas and getting the mithril arrows and just shooting the arrows through all of the enemies at the same time. Oh yeah, I do Legolas or uh, Gimli. I I, I, ne- never- I was never able to unlock Gandalf though, and that always upset me. Uh, I didn't done the game, but my friend did, and he did have Gandalf unlocked, and it was he pretty cheated, powerful. Obvi- obviously, oh yeah, yeah, he cheated, or he just played it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, would you say maybe like two hundred to ten million hours? Maybe, yeah, I'd say <laughs> yeah. it's close to there. Yeah. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, but the. The Third Age is a different game uh, where you played as a separate set of characters that basically journeyed around um, following the Fellowship of the Ring and trying to catch up and help them, kind of. Yeah. And so, so in some points you would run into them and you got to fight the Balrog with uh, Gandalf. Oh, that's and cool. You got to fight so a bunch just... of orcs that attacked Osgiliath with uh faramir so they were just the fellowship roadies kind of yeah basically guys wait up yeah like we'll we'll (laughs) carry the rear well they were i'm trying to remember why they were following so closely but i don't remember at all Hmm. yeah don't worry guys no spiders back here never mind i got them (laughs) definitely spiders i know oh and you fought in the battle of helm's deep with aragorn oh man that was so much fun yeah that sounds cool. No, I've never heard of that. Um, it, it was turn based once you got into combat. Oh, well, boo. Yeah. Uh, I'm a, I like button mashers as a kid, so I wouldn't have liked it. <laughs> it sounded um, like you said butt mashers, and I was like, that sounds like you. <laughs> I was a butt masher. Uh, my, I guess I, I really only have one other honorable mention. It's, um, it was a PC game uh, called Carnivores. Uh, you basically you're you hunt dinosaurs and then you you had like a crossbow like a shotgun or any kind of certain guns to like take down like t-rexes or like like scary like you know carnivores of course and like whenever you killed them you were able to get them stuffed and put them in a showroom it was a really cool (laughs) game 
and it was it was neat. I guess that's the only other kind of game I could think of that like big trophy hunters or you shoot deer at the arcade. <laughs> kind of just dinosaurs. Kind of you were just kind of hunters. you were dropped into this where I pulled it up. Apparently, uh, it's set in the year twenty one ninety during an exploration mission in unknown space. For some reason, okay. you find of course dinos- unknown. Space. Yeah, and then for some reason, you find dinosaurs. And yeah, I just found it to be a neat game, and that was just one of the only other games I could think of. Uh, I have an honorable mention: Turok, the yeah. one that came out on Nintendo sixty four. I used to type in whatever cheat codes and have the explosive bow and just go around explosive bowing everything. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. That was another game that I didn't, I was too young to know really what to do, but I like, that's why I use cheat codes. Yeah. yeah. I liked, <laughs> yeah. I liked the concept of shooting dinosaurs though, that, yeah. again, that appealed to me. So I, I knew what to do. Sure, yeah. I have an honorable mention of a remake. Yeah. Yahtzee. Let's add a seventh die. I know. Get it going. I know. Like the people, like the people have been asking for years. Add this seventh die, and I think it's about time. I think it should be seven sided as well. Controversial. Twenty sided yeah. die. <laughs> a million twenty to a million sided die. How about yeah, a somewhere between? Them. Yeah. How about another remaster of? Uh, Skyrim, just get a new. No, <laughs> no, they just did that, right? Just I, mass, yeah, like master edition, whatever. Like all, all of their hard work. Edition. Yeah, all of their hard work and determination that they've been putting into Skyrim remasters, put it into an Oblivion or a Morrowind or anything. I, I think they do have an Oblivion remaster coming up, though, don't they? Don't they announce that at some point? No idea. If Todd... they probably just. If Todd Howard gets off of that Skyrim train, maybe we might get a remaster of Oblivion, but I doubt it. What about Elder Scrolls Six? Like, isn't isn't there coming one coming out? Oh, yeah, yeah they, you recently came out with a uh, teaser trailer for it. Yeah, okay. that's all. That's, that's all we got. But I don't know. May, we'll we'll maybe get it in our old age, uh, but. <laughs> Until then, hey, we'll be the cool have grandpa. Something to we'll do be the cool grandpa. Yeah, until yeah. then, we'll be playing Skyrim 4D. For real. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any other honorable mentions before final thoughts? What if Uno was just all reverse cards? Oh, God. <laughs> we make that. I don't know. Yeah. That's how you make enemies. <laughs> Mix it up a bit. Uh, I don't have any other ones. So I guess. Uh, I'm sure Devin would say Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, well that that did get a remake. That got a remake. It got did the it? yeah, it got the insane trilogy with uh, Spyro got a a remake too. Oh yeah, his uh, oh, yeah. his wife Casey loved Spyro. She yeah, she would those... play that for like twelve hours straight in a day when it came out just recently. <laughs> yeah, those, yeah, those came out recently. So yeah, there you go, Devin. There's your remake. I'm glad one person got what they wanted somebody's dream came true yeah, yeah. <laughs> i guess we'll go ahead and end it there sounds good thank you guys for joining us today with the caved complainers be sure to like and follow us on instagram tiktok twitter facebook twitter? youtube twitch where we're streaming games not daily and we're not <laughs> even recording podcasts daily we record them weekly sometimes when we feel like it yeah if we're tired or or <laughs> one person doesn't show up and we get sad. I'm feeling a little gassy today. Can we do it tomorrow? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> but we'll we eventually show up and we appreciate when you do hear us. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Read. <laughs> Is that me? I didn't know since I <laughs> yeah. always go after Devin. <laughs> yeah, we kind of follow made... the mothership at Vinyl Drop Radio app. Drought. Download the app to listen to many other good shows. Yeah. Vinyl Vinyl Draft. And don't forget, nobody complains like a fan. Bye-bye. See you all next week. Bye-bye.